Okay, welcome back to CNC programming with NCC. We're concentrating on lathe today. This is Brian Bush once again. And we're going to talk about drilling can cycles. Okay, so just as we did on the mill, this can cycle is pretty simple. You've got your straight drilling can cycle, which is going to be typically center drills and spot drills. Your spot drilling can cycle, this could also be counter boring. The only real difference here is that it allows a P command within the cycle to pause at the bottom of the drill to relieve tool pressure so that your depths can be more accurate. And the PEC drilling can cycle, only real difference here is that uh, you can put a Q within the can cycle and then uh, once the Q is in the can cycle it, your, it is your amount per PEC and tapping can cycle. Basically the same as before the spindle will turn on to whatever RPM you tell it to. It'll feed in the Z, the pitch of your tap, or one over N, where n one or where N is the number of threads per inch. It'll go to a Z depth. It'll stop the spindle and back up the turret. So let's look at these in practice. Now I've been having issues. If I put a G80 in here, this cancel can cycle the uh, simulator does not want to run it. So you're going to have to do a little experimentation of your own and see if the G80 is really necessary within the can cycle. So if I go back to my simulator here and you'll see that my simulator isn't perfect. The center of the uh, stock isn't exactly center according to my settings. You have to change your settings on here in your offsets by default it puts this negative 4.2507 number in so I think I just you're gonna have to fudge it a little to get it to work so once that's done though I'm just what I'm doing here is, is a simple uh, spot drill and then a peck drill and then a tapping can cycle but what you'll see is they all get done with tool 8 because that's really the only drill within the turrets, if I'm looking through here at the pick it's giving me of it, there is a boring tool on four, but other than that, there isn't really any drills. So my program does all the drilling and tapping, spot drilling with the same tool. I reset the uh, stock here. And I'll go back to my program in memory. So we're looking through here. You can see I go home. I change my tool right here in state tool length offset. But at the same time, we're changing it on the lathe. Set my max RPM spindle speed. And here is now G97. We're no longer running in CSS mode. We're running in RPM mode because we're on center line. And then G81, our Z is going to go negative eighth of an inch, return to a hundred thousandths at a feed rate of ten thousandths per rev. Page down, you'll see I change tools, basically in state the same thing. Now we're doing a peck drill cycle. I'm going to a negative of one inch and I'm doing that at sixteenth of an inch per pass at twelve thousandths per rev feed. Before I had a G80 here and it wasn't working so again you're gonna have to figure that out and then I go home again and then I change tools right there and then I run the tapping can cycle right here where my feed is now my tap pitch which is one over n so let's take a minute to look at this now it's gonna spot drill coming in peck drilling
and then you'll see it change tools one more time and do the tabbing. So spindle turns on, backs up, done deal. So really it isn't any different than what you did on the, the mill with the exception that we're talking in feed per revolution. So you no longer take pitch times RPM. Your RPM is set by what you tell it and then your pitch will be your feed rate in the scenario. So you should know how to set up your different can cycles. Ahead of time you're going to have to tell it to go to X0 so it can drill from X0. In your setup what you're going to have to do is stick a coaxial indicator in the spindle and dial in the center of a turret. Which before you go run any of your drilling cycles I want to see that that has been done.